What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another part of our Thrones of the Britannia campaign, playing as Wessex. And uh, I do apologise for the little break I had, um, some real life stuff came up and I needed to get that sorted. Um, and the plan was to come back with some Rise of Mordor for the part 4 of our mini series. But um, we've run into a few te technical difficulties, so I thought I'd give you guys a Thrones of Britannia episode while we sort those uh, difficulties out. Um, so in the last episode we destroyed... Most of East Engel's uh, armies, we destroyed Guthrum's and the one that was up here in the north around Elig. So the aim is now just to finish them off, really mop them up, because there's nothing left really. I mean, we've taken Colchester, we've got armies down here ready to just mop up here. We've got another two um, ready to take out Norwich. And then our, probably our aim will be just to maybe keep an eye on what's going on here in Wales. I mean, Gwent seems to be taking the brunt of the force, so we don't need to worry about it too much, but... Um, yes, we do need to just keep an eye on it. Um, just see what this all is. Oh, minus 15 fame. Oh, got some pretty bad, uh, buffs at the moment. Anyway, we'll end the turn and we'll see what happens. Okay, they want to give peace. I'm going to say no. We're going to annex you. I'm sorry. Sorry, but not sorry. Your time has come, East Engel. If I make peace with you... And uh, you'll just cause more problems later on. Yep, they just kill another little army off. I'm going to have to send an army over there to go and deal with it. There's only eight um, units, so it could be doable. It's just a bit of a faff. I don't really want to have to go and deal with stuff over here. There we go. War in the north. Uh, well, this is the Scots, the Scots, isn't it? Declares war on conspirators that assassinated their king. Okay. A little kindness. There's a lot of faction allegiance now. That's good. Very good. Um, so we'll get rid of that. Ooh. And we've now got these guys that are coming in. I'm not too fussed about them. Um, yeah. They're pretty in ins insignificant compared to me. Just take this with this army. Occupy that. Very nice. Um, the 20 stack here can start sieging down Rendlesham. Sham? There we go. Just... I don't know. Rams, actually, no. Get some more siege towers in. Um, what else have we got? We've got a 10 stack here. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Oh, you can't reach now. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, well. Um, what is this doing? Upgrade. Oh, it's because we have a blacksmith here. That could be handy. But I'm going to put in this for income. Because we could do some more income first. Um, and I'll put it on the most elite sort of stuff, and our general, I guess. Maybe our cav. Oh god, maybe we can get a bit more stuff. How much is it? It's not costing a lot, actually. Sell spears? No, we couldn't do all of them. That cost 250. My other cav, perhaps? 100. And I'll do a couple of hill, uh, sell spears. There we go. Um, and you can just go in there, I guess, and deal with the whole problem that I nearly... Sorted out. Minus two. This will sort itself out eventually. There we go. Perfect. Right. Maybe I'll send that 10 stack back. It's not really needed. I've got a 16 and a 20. And there's not much left in there. <laughs> in this kingdom. They're basically done for. Um, my small army that I have over here. Seven. Yeah, I'm not too fussed about building this up anytime soon. I mean, some Saix Warriors. He's got some Earl's Thanes and some Royal Thanes. May add them to my 16 stack, make that a bit stronger. Because this army can just be made of crap and it can just deal with anything on this border. Skills available though, for Aerfold. Um, his loyalty is okay. Not too fussed about that. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Let's go with Replenishment. Another one in replenishment. And then I might go for loyalty after that. We'll see. Um, and then low public order and low loyalty. Oh, we actually do have a lot of low loyalty right now. Maybe I couldn't have afforded. I mean, they're on two. He's on two. It's not the end of the world. I don't think they'll revolt just quite yet. And we've got that buff now of the faction allegiance. So I think they may... They may be okay. Watch them go and rebel now. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll be uh, taking back my words. Oh, okay, look at that. They just spammed out another 12 units. Oh, something happened here. Because the camera's moved here. 
Not been a rebellion, has there? Doesn't look like it. Yep, go and take that, that out again. And now they're raiding. Right, we're going to have to go and deal with these guys. Give them a little bit of time to go and recruit some actual troops. Okay, so the, the noble birth. Alfred and Aylesworth. I've had a baby. And plotting of gold. There's now plus two influence for faction leader, but there's plus 20% corruption in all provinces. Not so good. Uh, don't need corruption right now. Um, you can just take that because I'm pretty sure this was a pretty easy or resolve. Chop these guys down. He looks pretty Viking looking to me. Kill him. Well done, Alfred. Giving himself another kill. Occupy. And there we go. We've got that. So yes, our aim is to reconquer... Uh, well, re reform England. Or form England. It's not even been formed yet. Uh, send you there. Take that. We're just moving up settlement by settlement, it would seem. Yep. Occupy that. Perfect. Right. You can probably... Hmm. Uh, I'd like to build a potter, I think. And we'll send you back to Colchester for now. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to... I don't know. But this army can just go up anywhere. It's a pretty strong army. I don't think it could siege out anywhere there yet, though. So I won't do anything to do with that. Skills available, though. Earthwald. He is a... Uh, oh, he's a general. Okay, so we'll give him champion. There we go. You know, my next champion. And I'm going to start moving him towards... Um, towards this area. Towards the problem over here, anyway. I'm wanting to spend some more money to build this economy. But I can't see anything available, really. So there's clearly nothing happened to Elig. It was just all a bit of a lie. Um, could dismantle it. Uh, yeah, I'll dismantle this. I don't really need that so high. Um, is there stuff down here? Well, there's research needs doing. So we'll do our research. Um, civic, perhaps. Let's do this fist fires. I'd like to see what this does. I'd like to see what we get. I'm sure it's just a... Uh, like a public order thing, to be honest. Um, yeah, I can't really do anything else. I don't really want to just spend my money on nothing. I could actually possibly put loyalty up for one of these guys. Governors. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it on you because you're the only one I can afford. So there you go. Uh, bribe with words. There we go. Bribe with words. That's one sorted. Damage building in Rendlesham. Yes, we're sorting that out. That is uh, being destroyed, and we'll probably put in something there to help with the economy. Because our economy could do with being a bit boosted a bit. Our army upkeep is huge at the moment, in fairness. We don't really need any more armies, to be honest. We could probably do, just like, make these ones full, maybe perfect them, put some better troops in them. And they'll probably be fine, we probably wouldn't need any more. Then we could just build the economy up. And the East Engle army is moving south. We look like we'll have another battle before this episode is out. I'd just like to remind you, oh god, what are they doing now? They're not even taking it this time. I'd just like to remind you guys that, um, to check out the Discord if you've not already um, for the channel. And if you want to get involved in any battles or send in replays. Um, lower influence, ah, pay him off. I don't really want to spend all my money on that. Trait gained. His loyalty is not great, I'll pay him off. Though it pains me, I'll pay this man off. Um, but yeah, go and check out the Discord if you want to get involved in any battles or send in some replays that may then get featured on the channel. Um, and just get involved in any, everyone else uh, on in the community. I'll leave that in the description if you want to have a look. And anyway, this guy's general. We'll put up his quartermaster so we can move further around the world. Um, nine. I could send them. Hmm. You can reach quite a long way, but not very far. This seven could do the job, possibly. How many men? How many? Oh, we have all just infantry here. We'd have to play offensive. Um, 
Yeah, we could do this. I mean, actually, it's a pretty easy aura resolve. I might just aura resolve this one. I know people will be wanting to watch a battle, but that one was just... It's not too difficult. I thought it would be a close one that we could have to fight, but no. We'll then just deal with this guy and just mop him up. Not wasting my time on a small, insignificant army like that. Oh, nice de decapitation. Excellent. God does march with us. Um, and you can fortify. Because fortifying allows them to, well, increase their replenishment. And it also, I think they do like training and something like that in while they're in fortification. Just kind of cool. Um, anyway, we'll put something in here. Oh, I can't because I spent all my money on the flipping. Uh, a risk of rebellion, though. Norfolk is now a risk of rebellion. Well, it can try and rebel. I will probably just destroy it. Um... See if I can get any money out of people. That's what I'd like to do. Who likes me in this part of the world? What is Mercy doing here? This is where all its armies are, clearly, then. Are they fighting? No, Helleborg aren't fighting anyone. Who actually likes me, then? I think someone in the north did. Well, Mercy did before they died. Holderness sort of like me, but they also sort of don't. All right. Persuade. Let's get some money out of you. Oh uh, yeah, actually demand. Let's see if we can get any, a little bit more. Maybe 500. Oh. Okay, well I probably could have gone for more there, but... Oh well. Um, insulting. Okay, well we'll just go... We'll just take that for now. Um, they're probably... Yeah, it's improving because we've got some relations there with them. So that's interesting. So yeah, I don't know what the Welsh happens to the Welsh, but I mean... They kind of actually did get destroyed in the end. These people, the Wen, I kind of like them on my side. Insulting, apparently. Okay, well, we won't do anything there then, just quite yet. These people now hate me. I don't know why. They're a vassal kingdom of me, but... I won't drag you into more wars if not necessary. Um, these guys sort of like me. But you're a vassal of... Mide. Well, I, a Mide are here. They might like me. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> um, Dyflin. No, they're starting to deteriorate. Holderness. I don't really want to make friends with you. Uh, you're also a vassal of Northumbria, so not going to happen anyway. And that's probably going to be it. I'm going to see if that's any money that we can actually spend on anything. Does help with income. Blacksmith. I don't really need another blacksmith around. Okay, so what does a fist... Okay, 50% XP for units per turn and replenishment. Okay, that's kind of handy. This helps with public order does patrols, but I don't really need that. Um, a mill would be kind of cool. Let's see if we can get another 200 out of someone. That would be kind of handy. Diplomacy. Diplomacy. Let's see. Uh, right, so you, these guys might. They're starting to warm to me. Declaration. Yes, okay, that's sufficient. Let's get 300 out of you. Maybe a little bit more. 600? No, that's insulting. Okay. 500? Like the magic number like those other guys. Not 5,000. No, okay. That was insulting. I agree. It was insulting. I shouldn't have said that. Um, there we go. We got the money we need. Right, so do I want to mill? Possibly. That would be kind of handy. A granary pit. But it doesn't actually help with the economy. I want something that really helps. That does help the economy, but not greatly. And it also does damage our food production, which actually is through the roof right now, so we don't need to worry about that too much. A moot hill could be useful. A tithe hall. Well, what does this go into then? A warehouse can go into a storehouse. Go a warehouse, storehouse. Okay. So it's all really percentages, really. I mean, this one here does actually have a certain income, but... Um, we'll go with... Well, this one helps income from cloth, pottery, and salt buildings. Well, we've got a pottery building. This one helps with food production from port building change. Okay. So we have both of those. Um, I think I'm going to go with an industry. Your industry... 
Hmm. I'm going to go with a craft trader. There we go. That should help with the income a little bit. And I don't really care about all this. I mean, load, loyalty call, public order is not great, but these are all the places I've conquered. They'll slowly get better. And risk of rebellion for Norfolk. Yeah, well, that's just because I just took this and walked out. That's not surprising. End the turn, and we'll see what happens. Just need to get that economy sorted so I can afford more more armies if I want them, or more fancy troops if I want them. And I kind of sounded like I went Scottish there for a moment. Oh, yes, I forgot I needed to move this army. Oh, but they've taken this. Okay. Maybe this 20 stack will move on and attack these guys. Maybe. Make a show of strength. Public order, yes. Could do some public order. This place is, hates me. Um, but we're going to go with some lords, fields. Uh, yeah, because it gives bringing in a more economy, so that's fine. Um, you can start the siege down Norwich. Uh, yep, yeah, I'd just do that. I know I could have probably attacked that army behind, but I'm not even too worried that as long as they can't even get in the city, then they're not going to even be threatening me. I am um, this army. If it goes on, well, what's that? That's raiding. Uh, now just go in here then. And then you can go up there, King's Army, and you can start causing some problems and just taking these last few settlements. And then... And then we'll uh, we'll deal with them later. Okay, now this other army. I'm going to send this army across the seas to try and... Can I send it? Okay, so they're... It's going to take two turns to get into the water? It's not even worth it. I'm going to just rely on... Uh, Kernu to just deal with them. That's fine. We have some Earl Stains here in this army, actually. I don't know if I really need them here. It'd be more useful over here in the uh, in the east. And there's 10 stack here. Um, yeah, I'm not really too fussed with what they do. I'm going to spend the money. Oh, well, actually, I actually haven't got that much money. I'd like to send it on on better troops. I don't really care about their armor. It's not really making a difference as of yet. It might want to get north to like Northumbria, but we'll see. Um, and it's kind of all I need to do. Gonna end the turn and just we're getting through quite a few turns at the moment, but that's just how it goes. That is fine. It happens sometimes. Looks like is that South Sussex or South Sussex are doing something? That's not the end of the world. They can do whatever they want. They can do whatever they want. Okay, call to arms. The Nordman, where are you? Where the heck are these guys? Well, yeah, sure. Enter war and. Oh, hey, okay, okay. Okay, faction destroyed. Dubagil. More than you bargained for. Okay, so we're going to have to send these armies that were <laughs> going to go north to possibly go and start maybe some raids against Northumbria or something. We're going to have to send them south. Uh, well, this is a rebellion. This is not the end of the world. But the Nordmen are going to need to be dealt with. Uh, who are these guys? These just got 14 random guys. I mean, that's definitely doable and sort of able to be sorted out. So we'll do all that. Um, this seven stack can probably just mop up all the rest of these towns here. Um, but yeah, go on then. We'll just put you here. That's going to be overkill, but hey. Overkill is always needed sometimes. And just stab him in the face. And we'll see what happens. Excellent. Right. Take Norwich. The home of East Anglia. And there we go. That's them basically done. They've got like just two little villages. They're not going to be able to do anything with them. Um, repair, I guess. And repair. There we go. Norwich can do its thing. Um, and you can, I don't know, you just stay there. You can't even fortify. What's even the point of you? Um, and then let's just send you up there. Don't think you can take that, can you? No, you're just well out of range. So you do that, and then let's build some more economy stuff. Oh, you can upgrade this, nice. Um, that could be kind of handy. Uh, Martyr's Mint. That seems actually kind of useful. 
income for commerce um, plus it's a tradable resource and it's plus 10 fame yeah sure let's build that that sounds cool um, assign a governor sure um, um, let's just do you why not actually no let's do you assign a governor you to Norfolk Oh, insufficient funds. Oh, what's a shame. Estates. I should have all the estates, or most of the estates, yes. I do. Excellent. That's all we need. Food production is fine, then. It's the only way you could get around... Well, it's not the only way, but it's a good way to get around this. You just keep all the estates for yourself. There we go. Increase the income. Low loyalty. Who cares? Research available. Uh, siege warfare is now a thing. Okay, so what can we do? Medium siege engines. Okay. So reinforcement range for oh, that's pretty handy. I mean, all of this is pretty useful. I mean, this one would be very useful. What do we need for this? Build, forge, or stats, forge, you know, whatever. Um. Yeah, I want to replace my archers. They're pretty damn useless now. <laughs> I hate my archers if, with a with a passion. Um. Yeah, we need a lot more money if we can even try and change that. I don't even know if I want it. I'm going to keep destroying that, um, because I don't really, I say this, this is kind of very, kind of keeping it very happy. Eh, no, I'm going to keep it, and I'll convert it next turn. That's keeping that place quite happy, to be honest, um, which I'm very happy with. Very, very happy that it, it is happy. Um, but anyway, yeah, we need to deal with the Vikings. I don't know if we've moved this army. Yeah, I've moved this army. Right, end the turn. I could have brought my other army across from the east near the Welsh, but I mean, the Welsh are dealing with just as much as these Northmen that have appeared, which aren't really in the north. They've just come into the south and doing some annoying stuff. It looks like the Welsh are cowering back into the mountains like they do all the time. Damn Welsh. Their longbows harassing us at range. There we go. What are they doing now? They they just killed. Did they just kill an entire like army off? Okay. Well, you sir. Treachery. Rumor has it this man is planning to assassinate a member of your family. Prepare. I'm gonna goddamn kill that man myself. Right. Anyway, let's deal with my faction stuff because I've not actually looked at my faction yet this turn. I'm trying to remember. Family tree, there we go. Does anyone need marrying off? Oh, you do actually do. Can I get any marriages for people? And can I get any, can we get any marriages with people in the diplomacy world? Um, see if we can do any marriages between my vassals. I, will listen. I doubt it. Let us call for ale, and then... I have a feeling that they're going to be like, no, this is... Oh, okay, arranged marriage. Yeah, I'll marry you off to excessive. Excessive. Well, they say no. Oh no, sufficient. There we go. I'm gonna get a lot of money from this, I think. Oh, insulting. Okay. Two thousand gold coins, please, sir. Then we call it a deal. No, okay. Uh eighteen hundred was the last deal, I think you were saying that that was sufficient. Yeah, there we go. Perfect, that will do. That's one person married off, and then there was someone else that needed marrying off. Maybe to a Scotsman or someone, I don't know. Strathclyde, um, military alliance, no I didn't, well no one like, oh my god you're all the way over here as well, gosh, and these guys are getting crushed, I really don't know if I want to marry you off to, uh, yeah I don't really at all, um, I'm probably just going to marry you to, well just find yourself a wife, find yourself a wife, it's going to cost a bit though, I'd rather not actually, better get money from people. Better to get some money from maybe the Welsh. I haven't tried them. No, but the Welsh hate me. With a passion as well, I'm not surprised. Uh, Mercia, I don't, I've got to destroy you at some point, but it can wait. Arrange a marriage. Demand a wife uh, for Ethelwald. She's a midwife. Insulting. Well, I can offer you some money, I guess. How much would I have to offer you to like this? I'm not going to do it if it's costing more than this. No. 
You can show off then if you're not. You can't have a wife. South Six. I don't think they have anyone now. Thought I'd check them. Um, yeah, there's not much. I might just leave him for now and just. He's not. He's not my primary concern. I've got other problems like rebellions down here that need sorting out. Uh, yep, yeah, that's not actually helping with the economy, so I don't really want to boost that. Um, food's looking okay. I'm just going to deal with these small these armies, or deal with these places, I guess, just quickly. Occupy. There we go, take that. Um, and then you take that. Occupy. There we go. They should be dead now. Oh, apparently not. Apparently that's not them dead. Um, yeah, I might kill this Hayden people off in one, like, just declare war on them and just kill them right. They shouldn't have anything left. Apparently they can still live if they don't have a place, they just start starving, I presume. Like in every other total war. Yeah, there we go, I presume that'll be them dead. Eliminate East Engel. Hey, there we go, and they're dead. Right, perfect. Now you can go back to Norwich. Right, what has Norwich got, or the villages got? Okay, this could be handy. Lead production. That's going to be more an Earth Mooner. That's going to bring in more. Yeah, I'm going to bring in, bring that in, whatever that is. A gla oh, a glass blower. That's what it is. It's in the village of... I don't know. It's a glass blower anyway. It looks cool. It'll be pretty cool to use for someone. Someone gets the joy of using that. Um, salt cellar. A salt cellar. Yes, let's have a salt cellar. Why not? Then we'll deal with all these problem these problem people down here sooner or later. Okay, they are starting to come for the coast though. Maybe it is time to start. Well, actually, yes, it is time because these guys have dealt with everyone over here. Perfect. No need to keep you here. Move to Winchester. Your army may be required. Alfred has got an upgrade while we're waiting on that. Um, quartermaster could be handy. I'm gonna go with two plus command. Make this guy even more of an of a beast. Uh, governor, I would like. You're pretty loyal. Forager, pretty handy. I would like you on scribe, I think. And then Ethelheim can be on scribe as well. Oh no, he was a general, damn it. Oh well, he's got he's got scribe for some reason. If he ever becomes, I guess it helps with governance, but I mean, he doesn't need it. He needs more generally stuff. Damn it. Oh well. Oh well, I was getting into that mood of, oh, he's a scribe, he'll do that, but oh, it's not the end of the world. Economy, I don't know why I'm really caring about my economy, it's looking brilliant. 2,000 coins now, better than it was anyway before. 200 left in the bank, I don't think we can spend that on anything. It's a shame I can't just recruit troops from these, uh, from my vassals. I mean, they, all they do is then just provide stacks, which is pretty handy actually. Um... And I'm probably just going to keep them as my vassals and just form England with these guys. Uh, but I mean, yeah, even one governor being unhappy is not actually the end of the world. That's perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, we'll end the turn for one final, one final end turn and we'll see what happens in this end turn. I imagine... I imagine uh, the Vikings may do a bit more raiding. And we'll have to deal with that small Viking incursion. I'm not, I'm not having... Um, that small stack just sitting around Norwich. We're gonna have to deal with them. Well, it's not even a small stack. It's about sixteen, I think. Yep, they're gonna. Oh, yeah, it's a sixteen or something like that. The salary request. The well, he can piss off if he thinks he's having any estates. <laughs> this man, he's just not having anything. Pretty sure that's like the third or fourth time someone's asked for something. Not having it. Right there, we go. Declare war on these guys. We're gonna just kill these. Guys, off the pendable in a fight. Okay, I've been joined by everyone, but I mean, um, I'm probably just gonna aura resolve this. I didn't think it'd be this easy. It's a huge battle, I know, but we are coming close to the end of the episode, and I don't really want to extend this too long. So we'll just aggressively fight this one, and that is probably is a decisive victory. And he's just getting killed straight off. Okay, well. That's not the end of the world. Just kill this guy straight off. There we go. They're dead. Pretty irrelevant. No one cares about these guys anyway. No one liked them. They looked funny. Um, let's put a cloth weaver in. 
That spends all our money again for this turn. It's unfortunate. We have all our armies here. We don't need them here anymore. I'm going to start moving them towards this faction, who Heilborg, I think, are going to be the next ones I go after. Because they're fighting... Yes, this faction here is now being crushed by the Heilborg and things like that. So, they are definitely a good chance to go for now while they're not really in the right position. You, I could recruit some troops and I may... Apparently, oh yeah, we don't have many money. I would, it's always handy if you have some money lying around to help recruit some troops, but we don't. So, uh, we'll recruit some next turn, I think. Skills available anyway, though. Wolfstig, um, yeah, you're loyal, you're a general as well, so we will put you on... Uh, put you on champion as well, so you can help with that. Ethelwald is a general. He can have quartermaster. Get him further around the world, and he needs to move now to where have the Northmen even gone? Oh, they've landed here in South Sussex. Okay, well it's going to take a little while to get there. I may stop him in Winchester. Recruit another army. I'm not sure. This army. Also can kind of just come down here. It's They're kind of being occupied. But I mean, I've got three armies in the north. Three armies in the north is more than ample. These two can kind of just be the smaller armies that mop up anything that lands over here. So anyway, I think I'm going to wrap up the episode there, guys. I know it's probably a little bit shorter than usual. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe if you uh, want to see more Thrones of Britannia. And I do apologize um, for the lack of... Uh, Rise of Mordor, we'll get that sorted as soon as possible um, but yeah and also go and check out the Gis Discord if you are interested and until next time Legionnaires bye for now